morning, ladies and gents. It would appear I've got a bit of news to bring to you. Uh, I'm looking here at GoFundMe, the Freedom Convoy 2022. $10 million raised so far. I mean, I was watching this in real time yesterday, and suddenly the website went under review. Now, this uh, came with no no other uh, statement from GoFundMe at the time. Uh, this fundraiser is currently paused and under review to ensure it complies with our terms of service and applicable laws and regulations. Our team is working 24-7. We're, we're just really getting on it for you guys and doing all that we can to protect both organizers and donors. Thank you for, pay, for your patience. Now, I was watching this in real time yesterday as it was happening, and I'm not sure how this works on their end, but... It was actually at 10,125. There's a lot of screenshots on Twitter, if you go on there, of uh, a lot of people watching this as well. Uh, I kept hitting refresh yesterday, and the numbers were going down, going down. I'm not sure if they were refunding people, some of the more recent donations, or what have you. But $10 million. So this, this company has held it in their interest that uh, the $10 million by, I believe, it, over, over 120,000 donors, 120,000 donors um, is to be held. Um, we're not sure how long. Um, so some, some articles have come out uh, since then. I'm waiting on more news to see what, what, what people are saying. Uh, breaking Canadian Freedom Convoy GoFundMe under review after raising $10 million. This is from, and here's here's a screen grab of 10,121,000. So there's a little discrepancy in the numbers. On Wednesday, GoFundMe was put on hold. Uh, then we have the BBC also reporting on this, and the Freedom Convoy. Uh, they said in a separate statement, GoFundMe said, we strictly prohibit user content that reflects or promotes behavior in support of violence. In this case, the organizers met our requirements and the fundraiser did not violate our terms of service at the time of creation. Now, uh, I don't know what the, the onus will be on them to uh, prove that it supports violence. I mean, I know, I know people on social media are saying that it supports violence. There's the, the dumb Pierre, PM Trudeau, he's saying it supports violence. When it clearly does and not. Um, there's plenty of footage of, you, you can watch, Viva Fry yesterday was, was great watching Viva Fry walking the street for roughly six hours. Two days in a row. Big, big shout out to Auto Walks. He's out there every, every day, and he has been, and he has been since before. <laughs> so tune in to him. You can see, you can see the violence on the street, right? So I, I'm not sure how this is going to pan out legally for GoFundMe because um, when, when you have a terms of service and you have contracts, you can't just, based on hearsay, which I believe this would be, hearsay or just hearing from people that there's violence, um, you would have to actually document this for yourself, like actually document the violence, because uh, when it does go to court, you will now be held uh, responsible for proving that in the court of law. So that that is um, that is definitely a thing had here on Twitter, and this was probably the more uh, ironic things I read this morning. This is uh, the most ironic thing I've heard this morning. Uh, so this this is uh, apparently a famous Canadian actress. I don't know. She's got the she's got the the go ahead from Twitter to. Uh... Oh no, she doesn't even have a t check mark. Never mind. Not famous. But uh, so in many ways, but especially these Ottawa convoy have broken the terms and conditions of the fundraiser. Now, she's pointing out uh, you will not infringe the rights of others. And that is just precious. That is just precious. Um, 
I, I don't know if I don't know if when people are saying stuff like this, if they don't understand the irony in what what it is that they're saying. But uh, I don't I don't know if you have the right to not hear infringing on your fundamental rights, uh, hearing horns uh, and uh, people having a good time and celebrating and waving flags uh especially the canadian flags i know they're going to the people are going to say oh yeah we saw them waving flags yeah the two plants the two plants that were there on the first day with uh with what what appeared to be a a famous particular photographer with both of those i, I think I, i'm going to have a video coming out maybe maybe later on talking specifically about that but uh yeah that in no way represents uh the the convoy but uh yeah this is this is this is precious. This is precious. Uh, will not <laughs> infringe the rights of others. Anyway, just wanted to uh, give you guys that little heads up this morning. Uh, I'm gonna have some other videos coming out soon, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep on trucking.